Round two, we're on the play. Yes. Freighter into monitor will do. Freighter actually plays really well. I, I didn't realize it, but Freighter actually does play well alongside Durable Handicraft. Now, hear me out. You play the Handicraft on turn two, you play the Freighter on turn three, and then you're ready to play your three drops and pump them. It's kind of nice. Prophetic Prism. All right. You would have been good turn two, Mr. Sage. That's okay. I'll forgive you. Aha, Bant. All right. And they put the card on top. Thank God we have three of those. Well, that's not a counter spell. Tops two cards, geez. They found what they needed. All right. Oh, well, at least I missed. Ooh, they have a good double block for Weldfast Monitor now, though. I probably still have to offer the trade. All right, so we'll trade this for a theorist. I assume they're going to double block. 
Wouldn't mind if they didn't, though. I guess they have some incentive to not double block. All right. So get rid of the scry dude. And play the giant. Hmm. All right. Well, we're going to offer the monitor for the crane. Don't love it. All right, get rid of a tiger. Oh, that's bad for us. All right. So can't attack or we're dead. Is there any, do we have outs? Let's see. Welding sparks, no. Not that, not that. Mm, so we don't have any outs, all right. So I think I'm going to drop an early creature for another Wayward Giant. Feels like our bigger dudes are going to be necessary to uh, seal the deal on this, and Sages don't seem very good. Ooh, Wildest Dream. So our opponent's deck is sweet. It's just the longer it survives, just much more likely it's going to win. So I think that means... Unfortunately, we're just not going to be able to aggro it down with two ones if they have multiple one threes so i'm kind of tempted to just cut the sage one of them and just put in another giant go deep on giants and i think that's it take down but it doesn't seem that great okay all right
Um, yeah. It's a good hand. Very good hand. This hand got better. Huh. Not good enough, my friend. Well, what do you know? Got to crush with some unfair cards. Very nice. All right. So we're going into game three. Yeah, I mean, opponent's deck is sweet, so it's going to be quite the match. But yes, if we get ridiculous draws, then I have a lot of confidence we can win. Hmm, so no green mana. We have Helix, Artist into Giant, potentially. Um, a lot of green two drops, though. Hmm... But we have a lot of artifacts, too, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep. This would be a tough one to mull with three Renegade Freighters, a Cobra, double Monitor. Upkeep scrying. Hmm. Put a card on the bottom. I wonder if that means they didn't have the land. That would be something. All the one threes. This is why we swapped into that third wayward giant. It was sure it was a way I could have tagged the giant I brought in, so I'd know if this would have been. Ooh, Sky Sovereign. That's gonna be a tough card to beat. That was a good draw. Up keep scrying again. What's the crew on? Well, at least it takes crew three, which my opponent currently doesn't have. But we didn't see Sky Sovereign in the first couple games. Otherwise, I could have brought in like a Demolish. Not going to be able to hunt the Weakit, unfortunately.
All right, so I think we're just going to eat the crane, or try to. At least our opponent's tapped out. So we're going to eat the crane, and then we can actually attack into our opponent's board too, which is nice. Oh wait, it doesn't work, does it? That does not work. Hmm. That's a bit of a dilemma. So I have to attack with Rhino, but the problem is if I... Yeah, that is a problem. All right, well, I think we have to do this the kind of sad and unfortunate way. We have to attack with a Rhino, because our opponent just gets to play Sky Sovereign and nuke our artist, or our Rhino if I don't do this. So I basically have to attack with Rhino. Doesn't matter really how our opponent blocks, and then I have to eat the Glinton S. Crane, because otherwise our opponent can just crew the Sky Sovereign. And this at least puts Rhino out of range of um, stuff and things. Not that one. This one. So we'll eat the crane. Next turn, I suppose we'll drop the giant. I mean, it's probably pretty good we get to do it while our opponent's tapped out, given that we know they have Aether trade wins as well as... Uh, um, blossoming defense or whatever. All right, they bottomed a card. Another theorist. Jeez. I guess I didn't anticipate my opponent not having their fifth mana, but that's a pretty safe thing to not anticipate, in all honesty. Um, <laughs> yeah, all right, so we'll smash with the Rhino. Just chump blocking. Play a giant. And pass. So we want our opponent to just play the stupid Sky Sovereign so we can get the initial three damage out of the way. And currently our opponent is off of crewing it, but it does not take much for them to get right back. Double scrying. Jeez. Finally found what they're looking for, which I assume is land. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what else it could be. Tiger? Okay. Well, I guess the good news is Tiger doesn't do too much against us here. I mean, it can single-handedly crew the Sky Sovereign, Sky Captain World of Tomorrow, so that's going to be a problem. And like I said, this thing just kills all of our things. So I guess the plan is get to eight mana, play the artist in the doorbuster, and bust down some doors. And, you know, that actually is not that far-fetched of a way to win. So our opponent can hit us for, what, nine <laughs> with... Well, they they have to crew the... Oh, they put another card on top. Okay. Well, I mean, the good news is they don't have the Sky Sovereign out right now. Hmm. But they do have a good double block now. What's the sexiest play I can do here? I can play the Artist plus the Guide... But I can only give one thing haste. 
I can play the guide, but I can't make this. Unfortunately, I can't make this unable to be blocked. So I guess I just attack with both and attempt to trade off a tiger for a rhino. I basically have to hold all of my creatures too. It's not great. I guess if our opponent has blossoming defense as well, I have to like pyrohelix in response so that at least it still trades. So, I don't know why my, my opponents always get the luckiest. They, they force you. Whenever I place my creatures on defense, like multi-block, it always does the one that they want in front on front. And then whenever my opponents do it, it always puts the one I don't want in front to start. So it makes me... It's a weird gripe, I know, but it's kind of crazy. It's happened a lot. So if they play the defense, they have to play the Pyro Helix. So that at least it still trades. Well. Can't do anything about that. Alright. So we get in for. Four damage. So. Hmm. Anything I play dies to Sky Sovereign. I can play two things. If I draw a land, though, I can go Artist Doorbuster, which is pretty good. I can also go gear per guide artist or gear per guide doorbuster. Either way, Sky Sovereign's going to come in and kill one of them. I think we're going to wait one more turn. I'm just going to really hope I can. Um do something. Like draw land, I guess. Put another card on top, all right. Kind of just want them to get the stupid Sky Sovereign out of the way. All right, well, they're never going to play Sky Sovereign, so... Oh, well, that actually helps. Six, nine, ten, eleven. They don't have lethal, but they are close. Bottom two cards. Okay, so we could actually win this. It is theoretically possible to win this. I'm very surprised our opponent never played Sky Sovereign. I don't know why. They just really wanted to kill something. and Ah, they still haven't played it. That's crazy. We're just going to see it in the beginning of the game, and it never is going to come up. So this takes us to, uh, can we kill our opponent? I'm pretty sure we can, actually. Oh my god, I think we actually killed our opponent, believe it or not. So we play Doorbuster.
Uh, let's see. I think we don't play the handicraft. Get our things. My opponent said, wow, what a top deck. If only they knew. So now we attack. I guess I could have just pumped in. It would have been lethal. But I like to do things the hard way. So we'll do this. And do it. Hey, what do you know? If, does anybody else feel like if my opponent had played Sky Sovereign, I don't know, five turns ago, they would have been able to kill us? Since, you know, this card does unfair things. I really think my opponent lost to pure greed there. Like, why not just play a Sky like, you don't get to kill a creature. How terrible. How terrible for you that you get a 6-5 flyer <laughs> that, that attacks with things. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they, they had a better idea in, in mind and we just got some bananas draws there. Uh, either way, we're in the finals and we'll see you there.